This is my new to me Tesla battery. So this has come out of an early 2016 Tesla car. You would have 16 of these in a full Tesla car. So what we have here in just 25 kilograms is 1 16th of the entire energy storage of a Tesla car. So you can imagine there's an awful lot of energy in this. In fact, there's about as much energy as between 15 and 20 normal car batteries. And that's just in 25 kilograms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to power my boat. I've got a three ton sailboat. I've put electric motors on that to power it along. I want to use a really high density energy storage system. So I'm going to use this. This will also power the electrics, the computer, the um, lights, but that's a lot less. It's going to power the boat to actually push it along as well. In this video, I just want to go through what this battery pack contains. In future videos, I'll talk about how to balance the batteries. I'll show you how to install it. I'll show you how to charge it. But for this one, I just want to go through the components here. So what we've got at the end here is the system for cooling it. So you can put coolant in here and it flows around the batteries. That's important in a car when you're using really high currents, both charging and discharging. For my use though, I'm not going to be charging at anything like that rate or discharging at anything like that rate. So I don't need to worry about the coolant system. Then the main part of the battery pack is made up of 444 of these lithium ion cells. So each lithium ion cell is between three volts when fully discharged and 4.2 volts when fully charged. We've got 444 of them wired in here and they're wired into six groups of 74. So we've got 74 parallel batteries wired here, giving three to 4.2 volts, 74 wired here, 74 here, 74 here, and these are actually split up on the other side. Similarly, 74, 74 split up on the other side. So what you've got is six groups of these batteries in series, giving six times the voltage of a single battery. So coming out of here is between 18 and 25.2 volts. Now that's 25.2 volts when fully charged, 18 volts when fully discharged. I'm not going to fully charge it typically or fully discharge it. I'm going to keep it in the mid range because that's what gives the most cycles of the battery. That gives the longest life. And by doing that, I'll get thousands of cycles out of this. So that's the batteries. Then here, we've got the battery management system. And that's used to balance these six groups of cells. So if you didn't have this, it's possible that as you charge and discharge, one group would get to a slightly higher voltage than another group. And if that happens, then this could overcharge. And if it overcharges, you risk damaging the batteries, even potentially causing a fire. So you definitely want to avoid that. I'm going to show you in a later video how to change out this Tesla battery management system for a much more simple battery management system that you can use just to balance these batteries simply. So that's basically it. Coolant, which we don't need. 444 of these batteries, and then a simple battery management system. Now in subsequent videos, I'll talk about how to charge, how to install. But for the next video, I'm going to talk about what to look for when you're buying one of these batteries to make sure that what you've got is in good condition. So hopefully that'll be helpful for you as well. And in the meantime, do let me know if you've got any questions or comments, and I'll try to cover those in future videos as well.